What indie actually means is independent music. Any bands or any music that does not conform to the system of having big labels, big brands on them. general public are not aware of the local music scene and those who are aware are the, the kind that will come to just support their friends so it's like they won't pay the cover, they won't buy anything and that's why even previous venues shut down because it's a huge problem. It's, it's apathy, there's people who think that as long as I show face, I'm there to support. How do you sell something that people don't know about, that are apathetic about? They already have a bad perception of it, you know, there's already a perception that local music is not good. For example, when Yuna started, not many people were like crazy about what she did. But when she started performing outside of Malaysia, and then when she started singing with people like Usher, then everybody's like, oh my god, Yuna, that's amazing. Which is really sad actually, if you ask me, because there are a lot of amazing musicians locally. And if they actually were given the same attention, I think they would be really huge. Because I think Malaysians itself would be surprised to know that there's so many amazing talents musically. For six months, I was a full-time musician before I got this job. And the struggle to find money was real. <laughs> the good thing for me was that because of the lack of basis in the scene, I always could find a job. But for any other instruments, especially for vocalists, that wasn't the case. That, that's not the case for everyone. Nah. I guess that's why most musicians, that's why they always have like another job in the end of the day. It's never just like, oh, what do you do? You, you rarely hear people saying, like, I'm a full-time musician. It's usually like, I'm a musician at night, but then during the day I do this. Or even if you are, because there are a few who are just like full-time musicians, they probably worked before, saved enough, and then they start doing this thing at night. Whatever that's featured during prime time, it's mostly pop music. Like Paper Plane Pursuit, Talita Tan, Darren Ashley. Those things are the ones that are being played over and over again. And some from Fly FM stripped where they have Brandon D. Cruz, who just released his EP and like, Things like that that has been given coverage outside of prime time. BFM after twelve plays local or regional music, and no one knows what the hell they're listening to. You're not getting your your music played on radio. You're not on TV. You're not anywhere else. The only way you're going to get frequency is live. So if you don't give those musicians the frequency, it's going to be hard for them to grow, and it's going to be hard for us to grow because there's no there's there needs to be a relationship between uh, the customers and the bands that play here. There, there should be sustainable development for the music industry, sustainable both for the venue and the musician itself, and also affordable to the consumer because if people are apathetic and people don't know about local music, they don't want to pay 30 bucks cover charge to go and see a band that they may or may not like. Liking music, liking underground music is now an in thing thanks to the hipster trend, which has actually done us more good than anything else, than any other trends. I don't think it's enough because there's always room to improve. But I think we're in a good place right now, yeah. But I don't think we should be easily content with how much coverage we get just yet. Usually it's like that, right? I guess yeah. it's like this dream. I want to start off here because this is my country anyway. And I feel like it will be nice to know that I managed to get a following here. I managed to get a huge fan base over here before I go outside. Because I don't want to have to go outside, only then people here would be like, Oh, I know who she is. So I'm really hoping, I guess, like I said, the dream would be to really make it big here first.